just kind of picking his brain on the strengths of his game. And he said that definitely one of the strengths of, of his game is his airmail shot and the consistency of it. But he followed that up, Trey, with a little bit of a caveat because he said, you know, here in these round limited format events, he said it makes it tough to throw because it becomes even a higher risk. Oh, wow. And Biller has already exceeded the amount of bags he missed the entire last game in the first two rounds. Yeah, tried to see four if he could maybe grab the corner, like you say, four. Trey, and do something, but those are too far out of play. So a 4 nothing lead here for Jay Rubin. Three years as a pro, and again, one of the prettiest bags you'll see in the sport. Just such a smooth follow-through, high spin rate. The bag is, like, perfectly flat. Same motion every time. That's a four-bagger by Jay Rubin, and now Biller just trying to go in to limit it to two. Get and refocus here, get some momentum back in this game. Oh, and there, there could be right there. See if he can take advantage of it, and sure enough, right down the Miller. Again, Biller in the semifinals hit 38 out of 40. I mean, that was even better than the World Championships when Trey Birchfield against Cheyenne Renner hit 62 of 72. <laughs> <laughs> and we thought that was just ungodly. Six points could have felt like a dagger, but eight points is your eight points. You feel like you're it, the game's over, right? That's what you're kind of going for. You were going for the final nail in the coffin, but you know me, I would have taken the six and ran. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Kevin Biller just not as sharp as we saw. And you're, you're, you're so right, Trey. That's such a great point. Somewhere Matt Guy is nope. furious. Because Kevin literally almost could not miss back in the semifinals. Now, will he go for an airmail to steal three points to make it nine to six? I think the reset tells you that he is going to. He feels like he needs it here in round number six. Just past the halfway point. Huge airmail. Bounces off the top. So again, Trey, I'll ask you. He takes the seventh seed, and he will take on Jamie Graham in the first round of that pro shootout championship. It will be Ruben versus Graham. So congratulations on making it to the shootout championship. And your prize is a date against Jamie Graham. Yeah. Great, cool. thanks. You're welcome. But something <laughs> tells me if Jay Let's Rubin go. plays like he played today, he is going to be up that to is. the challenge. Nice run, man. Great. So Jay Rubin, your men's finals champion here in Iowa, and again gets that automatic bid, a chance to play the purse of $250,000 in Gainesville, Florida. And what an impressive win.